Y'all watching Creeper Man, the man with the awesome fans. Yeah, Creeper Man, yeah, he's got some plans. Making awesome videos, yeah, every day. Cause you know that that's the Creeper Man way. Creeper Man Minecraft. Hey, you guys, this is Creeper Man here, and welcome to this video. And today, we're gonna be playing some Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Nintendo Wii, which that's the only console Kirby's Epic. Epic Yarn is on. Sorry. <laughs> and um, this game was released back in 2010. I remember when I first got it. And um, I just loved it. But okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a warning. I might have to go check it out um, soon. But um, on the disc, whenever. See, I'm going to be doing a. Try to see if I could be doing a um, gameplay on this um, each world. But um, on, I'm just going to give you guys a quick warning. On World 4. Um, um, during the first level, whenever you get through it, and then all of a sudden the disc stop, disc stops, and then it tells you that it's messed up, and I'm gonna go, you know, take the disc and, um, see if I can fix it, or ask someone what's wrong with it, so I can see if I can fix it, so we could do these long plays, not long plays, I mean, just, um, game plays, <laughs> well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started anyway, it's not that big of a deal, as you can tell, I have been playing a little bit, but that doesn't matter, I haven't even been at the game yet, so, who really cares, so go ahead and listen to the story here, welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet, it's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing, Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato, on top of a bush. Down the hatch. But when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No! That's my magic metamato! Kirby gulped the metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up, but the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. So yeah, that was the story. And um, now there must be something else coming up. So let's see what that is. Oh crap, it's good to well, I'll just gonna read it. Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. Why, thank you. But nah, okay, you know I forget. We'll go in. actually like a tutorial level that's what basically this is kind of this is what it kind of is so, oh crap forgot Do it up 
here. to tell you some Kirby's Epic Yarn is actually a really cool Kirby game. I'm really surprised of how of how um of <clears throat> how cool this game is. The game is so I mean it's so yarny of course. And what that just came out now it's called Yoshi's um Yoshi's Wooly World and basically they kind of made it the same like Kirby's Epic Yarn Except, of course, you know, the graphics are so much better, and it's for the Wii U. Yeah. And, um, and the gyms and everything are kind of the same. I don't know why they want to make it the same, but it's not... There's... there's <coughs> most of everything is different. Usually, but... Let me say it again. Well, um, everything is different. Almost everything in Yoshi's Wooly World, but um, they kind of copied a little bit off of um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, but it's really not its really not a big deal though, but I'm just letting you guys know if you guys ever get to play Yoshi's Willy World. And I actually really wanna get to play it some someday because cause that game just looks awesome. Right? Three. Come on, it's gonna get one. Three. That's what we're talking about. I just love that song. So. Thanks for your help. Thanks Blue for your help, Aunt the Blue, uh, the Blue Yarn Boy said. I'm Prince Not Fluff. that I need it. I'm Ever Prince since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patch Lane into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere, without, can't go anywhere running without running into these horrible. Into these horrible. These horrible. But Fluff was interrupted when but they were Fluff attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ew, oh, wait, he's reading it. My bad. But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff. Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it! That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces. And the two began their journey to stitch patchland back together. Well, that's neat. And, um,. If you guys play multiplayer on this two player, um, the second player will play as Prince Fluff. So um, that's so just to let you guys know about that. As you want. No. Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who might your friend here be? Lord Kirby, you say? He is visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting! My name is Dom Wu, and it is my pleasure to make you, um, make your acquaintance. 
More Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland. Oh, that's just wonderful. I am the manager of um, Quilty Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist. I insist. All right. Let's take a look at this apartment. Welcome to your new home. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I suppose it's not much to look at just yet. But I would be honored to have one of uh, Prince Fluff's guests staying here. A proper home must be properly furnished. Please accept this as a gift from me. We'll discuss the rent. Go and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Now, if you excuse me, I think I hear one of my other tenants walking by outside. Well, now we got a nice apartment, but... But who cares about an apartment? Right now, we need to get to our adventure to get all the magic yarn. <laughs> that's, what just, that's what he says goodbye, I guess. Alright. Alright, our first level, Fountain Gardens. Let's let's start this. I might be playing multiplayer soon in a couple of levels, um, with one of my friends maybe. So um, that'll be kind of cool for them. So it's going in. No. I just love the music. It sounds like so like I don't know. What you, I don't know what you would call the music. Kind of like rich and I, I don't. I can't remember. But. No. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Let me just get this yeah. monkey down here. Huh. Damn you, monkey. Alright, you know what? Yeah. There. So much better. Let's try this again. There. You know who cares? I'm just gonna this. What's in here, I wonder? A flower sofa. So these little, um, collectibles that you get, it's for your, actually, your apartment so you can decorate your little house that you got. So yeah, that's pretty cool. What are you going to do? Yeah. Oh man, I forgot to go down there and get all the rest of the food. Um, in each world, yeah. but um, I'm not sure yet. If I if we could get through this, if if I'm gonna do all the um, the whole world, it'll take maybe like 40. I don't know how long it'll take, but but I'm gonna see what I can do real quick. Whenever whenever we're playing right now, but who cares about that right now? Unless it's enjoyed the gameplay, but. Kirby's um, um voice in this game is so cute. It's just he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yay! So it's only one thing. But, but it's very, very cool. And this is like some kind of teleporter. That just sends you all the way up here. But, but anyway, it's cool. But I'll, I'll, I'll try not to play too long. Try to collect all the stuff and everything. But you know what, I'll just skip a few. So that's not that big of a deal. Now we're close to the ending. After this thing, then we're the end. Oh yeah, take a look at us now. Big guts. the beginning crap kind of kind of ruined it but And this is actually a really cool level. The art design of Kirby's Epic Yarn is actually really pretty, because everything is mostly out of cloth, and, and, and it's kind of obvious. It's kind of obvious, but but it's just really cool. I really like the um the art in the game. It's just it's just really pretty and everything. Because you know. Kirby is one of my childhood um, um, video games. One of them. I remember my first Kirby game. It was um Kirby's. Um, uh, let me try to remember here. Um, I got it on the um, SNES, um, the Super Nintendo. 
and um, it was called um, Kirby Superstar Ultra or Superstar. I can't remember. I can't remember it, but um, but it had a collection of a lot of Kirby games, and um, oh my gosh, I loved it so much. And then I started getting to up, uh, and then I started getting in other Kirby games, and um, I started liking them too. So it was pretty cool. I mean, Kirby. And that was kind of like my first Kirby game. No, I'm not, um, um, and I'm not joking about that either. Like Kirby Superstar Ultra, I think that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, then let me know. But, and then, you know, I just love, Kirby is a cool video game, I mean. They didn't have thought that they made a new character for a video game. They thought, um, well, you know, Nintendo wanted to create more characters and they want to just have, you know, old classic Mario, like for example. And, um, and then they want Pokemon. And so they decided to make Kirby. And Kirby came along and actually Kirby got some pretty big results. So that, there's not very many Kirby games. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not joking. There's not that many. There's probably only maybe about 30 something um, video games of Kirby. And like the other, and like the others, like Pokemon. And actually, no, Pokemon didn't have that many either. But you know what? But Mario had the most, though. Because Mario, that was Nintendo started with Mario. You know. What do you want? What's the idea? What's the big idea? <laughs> what is it? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, wow, that's so fancy. Alright, alright, I'm way better going and go through the level so it won't take so long. A lot of stuff to get all that stuff, so that makes sense. Go here. Get all that. And, and I think this is the way. No, I wasted my powers for nothing. Just great. If I hurt, if I, okay, yeah, that hurt. Me. Yeah, that did hurt me. Let's try to see if we can get more gems out to, to level us up. No! No, it's curbs. No, you stupid animals. sucked up in my energy base. There we go. That, oh no! Crap it! Crap it! Alright. Alright, I made it to silver. So that's alright. It should be the ending! No! God! Yeah, of course I didn't get anything because of the stupid little bugs. Got to hurry me, man, that took forever. Oh well. Who cares? So 
I can't remember. I think there's four stages in each world. Let me check real quick. Oh, what now? Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle, what a definite pickle I am. Princess Fluff, Lord Kirby, you're still here. Oh, thank goodness I ran into you. I'm in the most dire of pickle straits. Could I possibly ask you for your help? Well, why not? Thank you, um, very s ever so much. Uh, Lord Kirby, your generosity shall not go unnoticed. Golly, I say fancy words in here. Right. You can see I can seem to find any uh, tenants who will move into my new building here. It's the market. What is the one to do? I think spiffing the place up a bit, up a bit would definitely attract some new tenants. I'm so glad to hear that you agree. Now take a look at this photo here. Could you? Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Wonderful. My. Wonderful. <laughs> that was much easier than I expected. You chaps certainly are helpful. Well, I'm sure you'll find the furniture you'll need in areas you have already visited. Well, yeah. Oh, you should have told me about the flower gardens because I didn't even care about this. <sighs> My goodness. People these days. in every world so that so that won't get you guys so confused and so i won't have to make a really really long video but um but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching this video and like i said um, um this is part one and i'll be making a playlist um, of all the episodes here so make sure to check that out so anyway guys thank you guys for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>